Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name's Lumina and today we're having a look at Vindictus, Define Fate. This is an adrenaline fueled action RPG currently in pre-alpha, where every clash is a symphony and every step is a dance with destiny. Immerse yourself in a dark and intense odyssey where you'll face towering adversaries and navigate a 3D world teeming with mysteries and danger. Embrace the challenge, embark on the journey and be part of the saga that defies fate. So yeah, it's a third person over the shoulder action RPG with gorgeous graphics. It doesn't so much have a character creation system. You select the character you want. Right now there are two characters you can pick from. I think that's going to be the case for the final release as well. But there's other customization available in the form of outfits that you can pick in the game. So we're going to have a look at all of that. We're going to start by jumping in on the female character and then the male character. We'll do it in that order. But before we do that, I will just say if you want to do a deep dive to discover all this, to discover about this game. You can find some links below, and as always, there will be timestamps. And yes, I deemed this worth looking at for various reasons that you will see soon enough. Our first character, Fiona. A swordsman, or woman, who uses one-handed sword and shield to engage in solid attacks and defenses. You will notice that the translations that they have here for the, I suppose, English version of the game are just not that great. <laughs> I had to retype their entire blurb from the Steam page because it was not that great. Fiona is a quiet mercenary who speaks only when necessary. She is praised for her skills but judged for her blunt words and attitude. But those who were protected by her shield and strong back at least once all say... Fiona willingly stepped up for them. She shielded them from a powerful foe without a second thought or slightest fear. Yeah, I mean, I read that word for word now. <laughs> okay, let's jump in with Fiona and look what she looks like in-game. Uh, I'm gonna just say, spoiler, she looks pretty great in-game. <laughs> I really love the outfits and stuff that they've got here. Uh, they put a photo mode in, and then they put some emotes in, and these guys, they knew what they were doing. Okay, I'm just gonna say these words. They knew what they were doing with the outfits, with the physics, with everything. So, as I said, gorgeous game. It looks really, really nice. The characters look fantastic. You have a little menu that pops up over here. You can choose different outfits. But you can also jump into a photo mode, which makes this all a whole lot easier, right? So you can, like, zoom in all the way. You can look how nice the face looks. And it really does look quite nice. Uh, the outfits look kind of nice too. The photo mode is a little limited right now. You can't actually move the camera around. You can only zoom in on this one point, which is her face. You can capture and you can hide the UI like that. So it's definitely going to need a bit more work and I'm 100% certain they will work on it. But let's just have a look at the outfits, right? Let's have a quick peek. Now, I can't really zoom in while looking at the outfit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys this one that we have here right now. The photo mode is P, so I press it. I'll show you what this is. This is the default one, the start-in outfit, and uh, as I said, just the physics on the body, on the cloth, on everything, and then the visual fidelity present is super impressive. It's really, really nice. I'm going to leave that for now. We're going to jump on to the next one. That's the first outfit. Here's outfit number two. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. Close the menu. Zoom in. Very nice. Once again, lots of detail. I don't know exactly what the idea is behind this. I mean, someone that's watching might be able to tell me, like, is it just going to have all the outfits available by default for anyone that plays the game, or you're going to have to buy these or earn these, or is this just a test right now where they want to show it off? I'm not sure exactly what their like system is for that, uh, but I'm keen to see it because some of these outfits are, yeah, kind of cool. And if I do end up playing this, I'd obviously want to look at them. Pick the ones I like the most, right? So, uh, yeah, good, <laughs> good outfits. Uh, they, they are like, you know, different styles where you have like these knightly ones with armor and stuff like that and then you have ones like this <laughs> that just bear it all uh you know now i was talking about physics uh, we'll get to that in just a moment when we jump onto the emotes i'm just showing the outfits off quickly okay i was talking about physics 
keep that in mind. Next outfit. You see, so like here they abandon all pretense. <laughs> it's just it's just a hoodie and some tights, you know? <laughs> it's a hoodie and tights and she's got a sword and a shield. But it looks great! But it looks really great. Like if you zoom in all the way, like what the hell, man? The detail on this face is just phenomenal. Uh, so like, again, I'm not complaining. It's just kind of weird. And then, then you got this! You have like polar opposites on like the fantasy scale, you know? <laughs> on one hand, it's a lot of people's fantasy to have a scantily clad female lead. But then on the other hand, you've got the other fantasy, which is just looking badass. Having massive armor, big shoulder pads, you know? It's cool. Plate mail. It's great. So that's it for the outfits, right? But like, that's not the end of what I want to show you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to pick one that I feel best works in this situation and then we're going to look at some of the emotes quickly, right? So now what you can do here is there's a bunch of emotes. They are different for this character than they are for the other character. So we'll have a look at both. You can select the emote and then you can actually zoom in with photo mode as well. So if I like press escape here, she'll keep doing it and I can zoom in. Now I said before that they knew what they were doing and I really mean that. You'll see, you'll see exactly why I say things like this uh, soon enough. So some of the emotes, they do that. They sort of perform the action, then they go back. But others are like dance emotes. And then you can sort of jump into the photo mode here and uh, you can zoom in. <laughs> and you can see it all at work, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, now, yeah, uh, this is like, yeah, <laughs> what is there to say really? Uh, we are looking at this for science. We are here to make sure that the outfits are accurately representative of what we as gamers and a community want to see in a fantasy video game. Uh, we are not here to be perverted in any way. Uh, this is us just educating ourselves. Right? Right. Uh, Jesus, say it with me, guys. Just say it with me. It's like a mantra. It has to be. It has to be. <laughs> so it gets worse. Or better. It depends on how you look at it, right? Uh, it, it just it keeps going. It, it spirals out of control. Uh, and at a certain point, I, I think to myself, I just sit here and I wonder, <laughs> where did we go wrong? <laughs> or where did we go right? Right? I don't know. I don't know. I can't decide. Help me. Help me. Just help me. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Anyway, this is like, I mean, this is pretty good. It's well done. It's like, I, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to say this. I have experience in such things. <laughs> God, is that bad saying that? And I feel... I am able to say that this is sort of realistic looking in all the right places, I think. I don't know. I'm being very careful with my words here. All right. But that's one of the emotes. I'm sorry. Let's move on. Let's just, just move on. What is that? Number four, I think. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Okay. I mean, geez, I should have put this one on and spent time on this. So yeah, like needless to say, these devs knew exactly what they were doing with all of this stuff. They knew where they were going. They know who their target audience is and they know how to sell a product. Yeah, this is case in point right here. So it's cool. There's a lot of emotes here. There's a lot of outfits here. We are moving on rapidly now. Okay, <laughs> because at a certain point, uh, this may become inappropriate. I mean, have we passed that point yet? I don't know. I haven't tried to find that point, but let's not do it right now. Let's not do it right here. So there are a bunch of different dances and they all interact with the character's physique in different ways. Uh, and yeah, um, it's something that anyone can do if they jump into this playtest. Anyone can look at, anyone can experience for themselves. Where were we? Nine. It's okay. 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 I'm, I'm, oh my God. Jesus. Oh, God. All right. Okay. Well, that's that's it. That's all the emotes. <laughs> that's all of them. You can change the outfit while she's dancing. You can look what they look like. 
um, I was actually thoroughly impressed by one thing, and it's that, and and this this by the way, was something that that I thought actually shows that these guys care and they are trying their damnedest and they didn't just like sort of slap this thing together randomly for whatever you know it's like look at the plate mail look they at least had some modicum of respect for the plate mail they did not allow the jiggle physics to take hold here look at it look at it it stands firm it's fantastic. No, seriously. There are way too many games out there that have jiggling plate mail. Like, what is that? That's not plate mail. That's jelly. Hello? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> that's it. That's the female character. We are going to move out now. We are going to jump back to the title, and we're going to check the male character out. Spoiler. It could perhaps be slightly less interesting to most of you. It's still a cool character though, okay? Come on. Be nice to Lan. Here we go. Lan, a warrior who uses a pair of swords to perform fascinating combat skills and swordsmanship. Unlike the two sharp swords at his waist, Lan is a kind young man with deep eyes. He's kind even to those who he encounters for the first time and easily brushes off harsh words. Some people say that Lan is too heartful uncharacteristic as a mercenary. However, after seeing how he throws himself towards the enemy camp without hesitation, anyone can tell the uneven life and heavy wounds that Lan has gone through and his strong determination. Let's jump in on Lan. You may have realized that I showed off some of the uh, abilities. I have been showing them off uh, in the empty space and uh, it, it looks kind of fun, you know? It looks kind of fun. We mostly here to look at the characters, but like the game and the gameplay all looks kind of cool. Uh, and and you will see bits and pieces of it throughout this video, but this is Lan, <laughs> and they and they talk like about his uh, his deep eyes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love how they talk about his deep eyes. And then you look at the character here, and you're like, hmm, deep eyes. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Okay, but this is fantastic looking. On a more serious note. The quality here, it's phenomenal. Now, I don't know if they built this from the ground up. I don't know if they used assets from like the Unreal Engine store or something like that. I don't, I don't know anything. And to be honest, I don't really care. It just looks good. It's, it's nice. It's cool. The texture work is fantastic. The characters are crisp. The in-motion effects that they have going on, phenomenal. Now, that's the base skin. And I, I chuckle even more at, once again, the mention of his deep eyes and his... Uh... <laughs> God, <laughs> just look. It's like, that's, you, yes, that's all you get to see of this guy's face. Yeah, I mean, okay. Dude's seen some shit. I get it. This is the other, this is the other outfit. And, and, and like, I, I, I'm going to point out here that there's a different difference between the outfits we have on the male character and on the female character like like it's not even really a competition i mean i don't i don't i don't know it's it's like the guys that had a meeting they were like okay what's the male fantasy versus what's the female fantasy and no 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 we don't mean the fantasy of you know the male uh, character or the female character no we mean the fantasy of the male uh, gamer and the female gamer and <laughs> and, and what they want to see and and then this is how they ended up somehow i don't know i don't know I, I don't I don't know all right but this is amazing and really cool I just feel like it's it's in in, in like it's a little one-sided all right so like why not give Lan some fantastic skins that show off his rock hard abs or or, or something you know like I want to see this man's chiseled jawline I want to see his fine features you know put this guy in a hoodie that only covers half his torso please yeah, cat ears. Sure, put them on this guy. Throw them on there. Little crown. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't need to cover everything up in plate mail. I like it, but you don't need to do that. So, yeah, I mean, this is Lan, right? This is what they've got for him. Uh, the emotes, they are different. We're going to go through them slightly quicker than we did the female ones. Uh, he has some that are the same and some that are different. 
and uh, oh maybe they're all different i don't i don't know i don't yeah okay they might be all different like what the heck is this dance this is like some dad dance in here i, c I can resonate with it are these all dad dances that looks like it could be a dad dance too no okay we've moved firmly out of dad territory and now we're into like justin timberlake here okay so yeah right right okay mm -hmm. this guy's got some goddamn moves especially for someone in plate mail so you got a bunch of different dances. I mean, why would you want to do this? I don't know. Uh, because you can, <laughs> I suppose. Because you can. But that's what you're working with if you jump in here. Once again, photo mode. You can sort of jump in. You can you can really take a good hard look at what's available. Uh, you can zoom in. I, I do hope that they add some more controls to the photo mode because it would be cool to you know, see a bit more of it in action uh, and to, to sort of zoom in on different parts of the character. But overall, yeah, man, I mean, what, what we've seen here visually is pretty outstanding. And um, I'm a fan. I'm honestly a fan. And that does bring us to the end of this video in which I'm going to talk a little bit about what I have seen. I really like the quality of the characters and the character models and stuff like that. Uh, again, I don't think it's fair that the female has all those like skimpy outfits and they just like left the male out to dry. Land deserves better. Uh, that's a minor thing though. I'm sure they'll get to it. We're still very early in uh, development for this game. So perhaps they worked on the main protagonist, which could have been the one they started on first. So yeah, they gave like uh, Fiona more. That makes sense, right? So maybe they're still going to add the other ones in there. It's, it's definitely possible. Uh, I, I did give the game a bit of a try to see what it looked and felt like. And honestly, it was pretty satisfying, all things considered. Again, especially considering it's pretty early on. You know, the fact that we get to choose the characters the way we do at the start here. I, I'm cool with that. I think it's good for a game like this to have a more focused experience. Because in that way, you can have a more focused story. You can just have a better game if you want to focus on it in that way. And they've obviously chosen it in this situation. So that's cool. I I'm down with that. Yeah, awesome. Uh, I, I don't know how the character outfit system is gonna work. I, I don't think that they've really said exactly what they're planning with it yet, but it seems like it's gonna be a pretty big part of the game to be able to choose and customize the way your character looks. And that's nice. I mean, people dig that. So yeah, uh, more of that is better. And again, I mean, the outfits and stuff that they've shown off here, it is kind of jarring that it doesn't really stick with the... I can't say with the theme, because we don't really know what the theme is so much, but it's not like it's going for a medieval look. It's not going for like a specific high fantasy look. It's not going for a this or a that. It's just got everything. And I mean, sometimes that's cool. Sometimes it's cool if it doesn't take itself too seriously in that way. Uh, and yeah, I guess we'll see when the game uh, gets a little further in development. See what happens. But I like what I've seen here. Uh, even though it is simplistic and I realize it's not a full character creation system, I still like checking these things out. I like uh, making fun videos. Uh, and, and this was fun to make for various reasons. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? So, yeah, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I will check in on this again when it gets closer to release. And we'll see what's changed, what they've added, how they decided to do things, and all the rest. Uh, and, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and, and had a good look at what was going on in the gameplay and with the characters and all that. I hope it helped you make up your mind, perhaps. But we're done. So you can check back here soon for more. Give this one a like and share it and do all that other good stuff. You can find my links below if you haven't already. My coffee page, my Twitch stream, and all the rest. And yeah, happy uh, playing those games and making those characters, dudes. Happy that.